Okay, so lately there's been all kinds of controversy around photoshopping. A lot of people are getting angry saying it's misleading, it you know lowers women's self-esteem because they're giving these images that aren't actually what they really look like. There's been laws, I mean propositions for laws to sort of get rid of Photoshop. What do you guys think? Well, it's definitely lowered my self-esteem. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's just really important that people understand that this stuff is Photoshop and that women don't look like that. I think it's important that our boyfriends understand that. I think it's important that we understand that, that little girls understand that. But, I mean, if you look at art, like, over the thousands of years that we've been making sculptures and paintings, like, Greek statues in Greek times, that was their idyllic image. It, it wasn't a replica of an actual woman that existed, and so all of a sudden in 2012 to say you can't do this, you can't have a, a standard of beauty, it's also kind of a free speech issue. It's like people can do whatever they want in their magazine that they're creating. Yeah. Well, well the standard of beauty has changed. I mean, when you think back to like Greek times, it was like the curvaceous, beautiful woman, like a little thickness was good. Like you didn't have to look like a stick. Curves should be beautiful. You should appreciate them. And the way they Photoshop it, it ruins that. Well, skinny people aren't bad, though. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. You represent over no. here. I mean, everybody's body is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Everyone has different metabolism. But I think the point is that those statues that were voluptuous back then were just as unrealistic for the both of us as the... No, I can be fat, trust me. <laughs> well, do you know I work for this? this? No, I don't like those. The peanut butter over there, yeah. Oh, my God. You know, I don't know. It doesn't necessarily bother me that much like I don't know I'd rather look at somebody that was really beautiful in a magazine even if they're like tweaked a little bit and look like perfect because it's a magazine it's not real you know I, I can understand that it's not real I can differentiate that but I think it is really important for young girls especially in like magazines like, like 17 and stuff like that mm -hmm. that they don't use these oh, yeah. crazy Photoshop images recently a girl who's like 13 years old named Julia Blum she started this petition online that was basically for Seventeen Magazine to use images of real girls in the magazine. She was like, she asked for one spread, an issue, of just real girls no, she's within the magazine. Star. Yeah, and it's awesome, and she's got like over 75,000 signatures on there. Here's the deal, I hadn't read a Seventeen Magazine in quite some time, um, but I bought one, because I wanted to check it out, because I was curious. And they did a pretty good job. Like, in the magazine, I bought two. Mostly because I wanted to find out about Justin Bieber. Um, no, no, no. But really, they were they different. The two magazines. Were on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There were two. There were two okay. different issues. One was um, you just wanted one extra one to cut the pictures out and post it on right, your wall. Right. Exactly. Exactly. To make exactly. out with on mm -hmm. the wall. I used to do that with Justin. Yeah. And we're like, <laughs> I used to kiss him a hundred times before I went to bed. I still do it with the Biebs. <laughs> <laughs> that is dedication. No, but they did a good job. Like they did. They had real girls, like different shapes, sizes in the issue. The problem is, is that like 40% of the magazine's advertisements, and that's when all the Photoshopping right. takes place. Right. So that's really, I don't know. I think most, if not all of you, have boyfriends. So if you guys were to go to their, their let's say you went to their apartments unannounced and you found your boyfriend expressing self-love to a Photoshopped image of you, how would you react to that? Oh. Um, bye-bye. See you never. Okay. You Even though it's of you, it you, you dump you. it immediately. Yeah, he should appreciate me for what I have to provide for him without being photoshopped. Oh, see, I would have already my standard. I would be thrilled if my boyfriend was jacking off to a picture <laughs> to a picture, of me. You'd be like, whoa, bravo. Yeah. I look good in that picture. <laughs> so if you were on the cover of a magazine, you wouldn't want, you'd be like, don't photoshop me. Because I'd be like, please Photoshop everything. That's a really good question. Well, not yeah. everything, but I make me look so. good. I mean, I would want to be real for who I am. Like, if you're not going to like good me for, for me, girl. then yeah. who is that actress? Well, Kate Winslet. You're like Kate Winslet. Oh, good well, for you. you. She doesn't let like anybody Photoshop him? No. Oh, really? She was once Photoshopped in some perfume ad, I think too much, and she got really upset about it. Or like a cover of a magazine. It was one of the two, I don't remember. But yeah, she got really yeah, upset. Yeah, Kira Knightley, when she did the Pirates of the Cari Caribbean movie, they yeah, wanted the to like enhance her boobs. And she was like, nope, I'm going to represent for the... Nice. They did on the Joan of Arc. That's oh, my arch. arch <laughs> whatever that is. But it was good. It looks especially good with your arms. Yeah. Did y'all see that ad for Jennifer Love Hewitt's new show? Where she has like the massive boobs no. and they photoshopped them to make them smaller. Did you hear about that? They're the, like so big. There's billboards all over LA. If you're on the cover of Sports Illustrated or in a Victoria's Secret magazine or even just in L, Photoshop <laughs> all day. But it's a yeah, fine line because it's like Victoria's Secret is advertising bathing suits. 
You're not going to look like that in that bathing suit if but you're you not But you want to look like that, so that's why they Photoshop it. And it's that's why they start tool. going to I the gym. I, I would disagree with you, because I think that some of those models really do look that good in they a bathing don't. suit. Not they don't. Not Kate Upton. I've, I've personally worked with some of them, and they don't. I can promise you that. They're beautiful women. Right. But they're beautiful women that have blemishes on their face. Oh, and, oh yeah. You know, I mean, none of them are as voluptuously perfect as they look in that magazine. Some of them are, like, too skinny. Some of them are a little bit thicker. It's right. just, it, it doesn't look like the photo. I'd it's like to ask facade, what the, you know uh, what I mean? I'm, I'm curious, uh, because all of you obviously, like, take care of yourselves and you work out. We were just talking about Chelsea's uh, triceps. Stop it, you guys. You know? <laughs> she so fantastic. You guys are all, like, Stop beautiful, it. and you clearly work very hard to maintain the, oh. the shapes that you have now, and yet now you're saying, oh, it's BS to promote those uh, to promote these un unrealistic images of women. Most of you are unrealistic. Well, it depends of women. on what I'm not saying. It's oh, yeah. true. I'm not saying. Bear it's in mind BS. that was a compliment. I don't think it's BS either. That was a compliment. You're all beautiful. You know. I feel like it depends on what your priorities are in life, and I think that women need to be free to develop our minds and develop our whatever gifts we have to give this world. And that's not just a beautiful body and a pretty face. And if there's so much emphasis on physical perfection women from a young age are going to think they need to be going to the gym all the time and buying this well, product should. and buying that product. But you, you just said, just you just said you work with someone. To, to be healthy, yeah. But, but, yeah but that's, that's the thing. Is that, should, for you know, like, for example, right. I have friends that don't want to lift weights because they don't want to bulk up their muscles, which is ridiculous. It's like lifting weights is going to strengthen your bones. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to make you more athletic. You can defend yourself against an attacker. Like, this is ridiculous. Right. So well, that should be the emphasis is on health and wellness. No, definitely. Well, to kind of change the subject a little bit, this is an interesting thing. There's this state senator from Arizona that's like proposing a bill that would basically force advertisers to put a warning on advertisements that use Photoshop. See, that is a fantastic solution. That's because okay. then you're getting yeah, your yeah. beautiful image that everybody wants. Mm -hmm. Advertisers are getting to put that out there. And at the same time, we're telling little girls that might not realize it's fake, mm -hmm. this is fake, this is fake. And they're seeing that over and over and over again. So they're going to know, oh, when I look down at my tummy and it doesn't look like that girl, I'm normal. I'm okay. Yeah. Well, right. what do you guys think about Dove's campaign for real beauty? Because some people say that, you know, maybe they're not all real, and then they're saying, well, if this woman's larger, then that's what you should look like. But that woman that's larger might not actually be healthy. So it's like a give and take. Would you rather be see a fat person or like a, a little larger person that may not be healthy? Or would you see, well, you know what I mean? The like fact there's is a you middle. Can have a perfect weighted individual, like someone who's the average healthy weight deemed by the, you know, whatever organization decides what we should weigh. And they could have emphysema, you know what I mean? So it's not, health isn't just correlated with weight on the thin side or the heavy side. But I think we do need to be having heavy images out there, thinner people out there, so that we see there's a wide spectrum of the way people can look. Okay, and so- And they're all beautiful. H&M introduced virtual models on their website that isn't even a picture of a woman. It was never derived as a woman. It's like a computer generated image. So it's, they're trying to say, oh, it's just like having a mannequin in a store. But in reality, it's a computer-generated image of a woman in place of an actual model. So they don't even use a human model in the first place. Well, if I That's was a interesting. Model, I'd be very upset. Well, well, it's yeah, it's less work for the models, but in it's in cheaper some for ways, them because they like, don't have to pay a model. And in some ways, it's even better because we know it's not even a woman to begin with. Yeah. So we know, you know, when you yeah. look at a mannequin, you don't look. Oh, I should look right. like that. It's a mm -hmm. mannequin. Right. But also, I mean, here's the deal. There's always going to be somebody that's prettier or whatever than you, and I think that if you're placing that much emphasis, like an image of a woman, photoshopped or not, if if they seem really beautiful, if it makes you feel that bad about yourself, there's obviously like some kind of an underlying issue there. Like it's like an insecurity thing that you need to to deal with yourself. Like if Photoshop is there or not there, like you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. it's a it's a an issue of well, that's why girls that, that always it. feel insecure because they see these pictures of these girls and like you said earlier, how you know you know that it's not real, so it's aware to you. Right. But back like little girls that are looking at this, they don't know better. No, know? I know. That's why I think it's really important that they they do the you know take precautions for young girls in young magazines. And that, so, what do you think our consensus is? Well, that's one piece of the problem, but the other piece of the problem is that for women there's so much emphasis on our appearance right. from the get-go. And as women, with or without these computer-generated, graphically enhanced things, we put our value on our dress size and what our face looks like. And men don't tend to do that as much. They're yeah. valued for their sports ability yeah. and their 
monetary world. So yeah. basically, I mean, right. the end of the true. story. I put a lot of emphasis into my hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, the point I was trying to make earlier, though, in that is that that we shouldn't put so much emphasis on the way we look. People yeah. should be like, I'm proud of who I am, and. Yeah, I might not look like that, but she doesn't really look like that. And Thank you. I'm also yeah. really fun and, and cool. Girl to power. With, so, yeah. The <laughs> end. On cigarette ca like cartons in other countries, they have like a little disclaimer and then a photo. Yeah. Uh, of Nasty like the tumor photos. that'll happen in your neck if you smoke these cigarettes. I think they can Photoshop all they want in their magazines. So long as in the bottom corner they have a picture of the what woman really or man, what like? they look like Which, without Photoshop. Oh, awesome. no. With that a little a disclaimer solution, that says, Brian. this bitch looks nothing like this. Congrats <laughs> <laughs> for president. I, I, that's yes, great. Cheers to that. We found our solutions. <laughs>